we're going to take this book this morning, uh, and we're going to do, do a little bit of prayer study here. I, not prayer study, but study on the prayers. Let's talk about that. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do every, uh, every uh, uh, sun, Monday evening, Monday, Sunday evening. I'm going to do a little bit about the uh, prayers, and I'm not going to take them necessarily in the order they're in the book. I'm going to take them as, as, uh, uh, as sections at a time and when those sections should be said, and then we'll go into, because uh, the book has it essentially in the proper order, uh, but there are things here that if you don't, if you stop at one place and you don't see the other one, you just don't know it's there. So I'm going to go try to share a little bit to make it a little easier for people to go through the book. And as I'm doing it, if anybody has any suggestions, wants to make any comments, just let me know. If you don't have this book, Brit Olam, yeah, there you go. Uh, if you don't have this book, that and I don't have it set for screen share. You did a beautiful job of screen share in there, Cole. A good I, job. Could, uh, I could bring it up in the screen share if you'd like. Do you have the whole book on? Yeah. On, on um, all right, let me go to, let's see. I don't, Tony, how do you do? I mean, uh, Scotty, I don't know how, how do we let, do you, is your say screen share yeah. on the bottom? Yeah, yeah, mine has a share screen on it. Okay. You may have to open up multiple sc screen share on your end. Maybe I can do it. Hold on this minute because you made me come. I, I just did it. I just okay. Did it. All right. Very good. I want to just go over uh, some of the things in the book. And uh, the, when you open it up, it says a bridge prayer for weekdays. That's the first thing they have in there. And this is for uh, prayers. Um, that when you get up and you don't have time and you need to do a shortened version, it's there. Um, but I want to turn to, what does it say? The uh, morning prayer, it says. Uh, yeah, you can bring up the PDF, Cole, if, uh, whatever you got. So it's called morning prayer there in the book. It's on what page? 29 in the book. All righty. Yeah, it's different. Uh, the page numbers are different on the uh, PDF, so I'll have okay. to find it. But yeah, give me one second. All right. It's right after uh, the abridged prayers. Yeah. Do I have to do, if he does, do I put this on gallery view? Is that what I got to do? As soon as he gets it up, we'll find out. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hey, what a great pickup. <laughs> okay. Flip the pages to you see. There we go. Keep going. The uppers, all the letters of approbation. <clears throat> we didn't have a quite, uh, we didn't organize this. Organ keep going. The the organized group. Uh, I didn't ask Cole in advance. He's doing this cold. So uh, keep going. Keep on rolling. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Now look. The next title you want to see. It says "End of a Bridge Prayer." So it should be down a little bit. Keep going. Bridge prayers for Shabbat. Go ahead. Almost there. Keep going. Okay. Next page. Morning prayer. That's it. All right. Now, when you go in the book, in the book, it's on page, uh, what page did I say a minute ago? Yeah, page uh, 29. The top of the page it says morning prayer. This is prayer for daily, daily prayer when you get up, uh, um, when you get up in the morning, every single morning. Uh, this is the daily prayer. I'm hoping it's showing on Facebook. Uh, I can't, Scotty, if you take a quick look to make sure. 
is coming through on Facebook. Okay, good. Now, it's exactly what it says, morning prayer. When you open your eyes in the morning, the first prayer, it says, upon arising, modeani. And this is when you wake up from sleep in the morning. I mean, when you wake up, when your eyes start to open, before you start thinking of all the exciting things you're going to do during the day, or you start thinking about, oh, my goodness, I got to do all this stuff today. Uh, the minute you uh, um, get into that, before that, this is what you should, or what is recommended by uh, um, what you should be doing. Uh, I just screwed something up. Did it screw up on Facebook or is Facebook okay? Okay, Facebook's okay. All right. Uh, anyway, you, the first thing you should say in the morning is I give thanks to you, everlasting King, who has compassionately restored my soul within me, and great is your faithfulness. Now, it says there in, in Hebrew, it says, uh, Mode ani, which is I acknowledge. Uh, I acknowledge before you. So I give thanks to you, everlasting King, who has compassionately restored my soul within me, and great is your faithfulness. Now, if you notice, we don't address God as God here. We call him the everlasting King. Uh, this is the reason we do this is because we haven't gotten out of bed. We haven't made our first little trip to the washroom. We haven't washed. We haven't relieved ourselves. We haven't done anything. So we don't want to address him yet as God until we cleanse ourselves a little bit. So we go to the, to the restroom, and then we wash our hands, and then we say this prayer, this next prayer, and we say it actually, this next prayer, every single time we come out of a bathroom after we've relieved ourselves. Blessed are you, Hashem, our God, King of the universe, who shaped man in wisdom and created in him a system of openings and tubes. And it is clear and known before your throne of glory that if even one of them were to be ruptured, or if even one of them were to be closed, it would be impossible to exist for even an hour. Blessed are you, Hashem, who heals all flesh and performs miracles. We say this every time we can't come from relieving ourselves, uh, every time uh, uh, we get up in the morning, and, and so that we know in our mind we're thanking him that he heals us and take, performs miracles. But we all know one thing. Boy, all you got to do is open one of those tubes, uh, you know, and a, a, a blood vessel or something, or something gets closed up. And let me tell you, I never quite understood the closed up part until I went through, got old and got a problem with my prostate. And, and you couldn't do what you need to do to relieve yourself. And it hurts really, really bad. <laughs> so this prayer has, a, for older people, has really special meaning. But uh, we say it every day. In other words, we get up, we thank Hashem, we thank the king that he's returned our soul to us. And we're here we are, here we are today. And then we go relieve ourselves, wash our hands, get clean to stand before God. The next thing are called morning blessings. And I, I've never counted them before. I'm not sure how many are there. But this is a recitation we do before we do anything else. Before we have our first cup of coffee, before we go uh, open Facebook, for anything else. It's just a we call them the morning blessings. We're acknowledging things to God. And uh, it starts off with uh, thanks, Hashem, for guarding our souls and for returning our souls uh, to us in the world to come. Then it's, we go through the whole thing. May God, uh, may God, my God, the soul which you have placed within me is pure. You have created it in me. You have formed it. You have breathed it into me. You have safeguarded it within me. And eventually you'll take it from me, but you will restore it to me in the world to come. As long as the soul is within me, I offer thanks before you, Hashem, my God, and God of my Father's master of all works, master of all souls. Blessed are you, Hashem, who restores uh, souls to the dead. 
Then we go on and bless him for individual things. And there's a, it says, uh, blessed are you, Hashem, our God, King of the universe, who has given the rooster understanding to differentiate between day and night. Well, why do we thank him for that? Well, back in the day when the rooster crowed, you knew it was time to get out of bed. That was your alarm clock. So you didn't have to worry about it. Then we go on to the rest, and, and each one of these has a relationship to our sleep, but also to the life in the world. Uh, blessed are you, Hashem, our God, King of the universe, who? And all of these start the same exact way, up to the word who. The first one says, give sight to the blind. What did we just, what happened when we opened our eyes in the morning? All night long, they were shut. We were blind. We didn't see anything. So in the morning, we open our eyes and we have sight. He also heals people, but this also happened to us as we woke up in the morning every day. <clears throat> Blessed are your Lord, our God, King of the universe, who releases the captives. At night, your soul leaves you at night. It goes to the, the nefesh, the, I mean, the nishama, the godly part. And it goes to be recharged. It goes to be recharged uh, with God and comes back to you in the morning. So you're being released. Uh, of, uh, you're, you're here for another day. Then it says uh, the same thing at the beginning. Blessed are your shame, our God, King of the universe, who straightens the bent. When we get out of bed, what happens to us? All night long, we spent curled up. We are bent over. We sit on the side of the bed. And uh, we, as we stand up, we're straightening the bent. He's giving us the power to straighten our, us being bent over in the morning. Some of us takes a little longer to straighten out. Others can do it right away. Now, the next part is obvious. Uh, blessed you dresses the naked. What are, what are we doing? In bed, we're, we, we have night clothes on. We, we, we're not uh, um, uh, uh, dressed. So the next thing we do is get dressed. Who grants strength to the weary? Well, we just spend a night resting and hopefully sleeping and getting a good night's sleep. And so we're not weary anymore who spreads the earth above the waters. Here we are. We have our uh, another day in front of us to walk this earth and to do things for him and raise things up to glory. And then it says, who guides the steps of man. Important. You're reminding yourself and you're thanking him that during the day he's going to guide you to, to, to that everything you do and touch will be raised up and made holy and dedicated to him. And then, th I love this one, blessed are you, Lord, blessed are you, Hashem, our God, King of the universe, who provides me with all my needs. This reminds me that he's promising me that he's going to give me everything I need, not what I want necessarily, but everything I need for the day, for the food, for the house. And this prayer is said, there's another prayer we're going to talk about when we get into it, prayers uh, after meals, uh, that we say the same thing to him, for that he, he creates everything living and, and our needs, and he also creates everything to satisfy all our needs, and we'll discuss that when we get into it. Then we do the Adon Olam, and this is hard for me to do with, well, let's stop there. You see it says now on the screen, morning prayers. That first section we just did, did were morning blessings. We say them every single day as soon as we get out of bed, uh, when we wake up, we go into the uh, relieve ourselves, after we've relieved ourselves and cleansed our hands, and then we do the morning blessings. That's done every single day. It should be done before you start, go, start anything else in your day, before you go to prayer service, before you do anything. Then we have the morning prayers in the book, and those morning prayers should be done every day also. Um, and after the, then morning prayers, and in the morning prayers, we have what are called songs of praise uh, to get us ready. And then we have 
different books. But that's all I'm going to cover uh, this this week. That's all I'm going to cover because this is not just for Shabbat. This is for every single day if you want to do it. It's up to you. Um, it's not. Uh, you will not be penalized if you don't do it every day. Uh, and the reason being is this is your connection with God. If you want to have a good connection, you put him first things in your thought when you wake up. You p give him his morning blessings in the morning. You're blessing him, but it's also reminding you of a lot of stuff. Um, and you do the morning blessings. Now, in the front of the book, and we'll get into that uh, on uh, the next meeting, uh, after you have that, you have... Uh, in the, in the very beginning, you have what's called an abridged uh, um, portion, uh, abridged prayers for the nations. But we have them for us too. If we get up late or we got to go do something, and, and and if we know that if we take too much time, we're not we're not going to bring, uh, we're not going to be at a, a, a be able to make it to a, a doctor's appointment or whatever. So we have abridged prayers, and they have they run a little bit different. Uh, and take a look at it when you get a chance. But my suggestion, and just a suggestion, it's not a commandment of God, but our rabbis tell us and our sages tell us this is the way we should greet God in the morning. So we do it. We don't do it in front of people. We don't do it, you know, we don't wait for a minion, nothing. This happens immediately when we wake up in the morning. This is our co first connection of the day, making sure that we're focused on our connection with God and connection to, 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 to the, everything we touch from then on during the day, our one thought is, how do I do good with this? For whoever or whatever needs to be done good. Thank you, uh, Cole, for the screen share. Uh, appreciate it very much. And uh, thanks for the help. And no I, I just want this beginning section is not a communal prayer section. This is what you do between you and God every morning when you wake up. So that's it's a very personal thing, and it's to get you going, get your motor started, so to speak, give you a little kickstart in the morning to remind yourself. So uh, you don't have to wait for communal prayer to do this because we never do it in communal prayer. It's always done before we start the actual prayer service. So I suggest that you, that and something called morning prayers, which we'll talk about next time, um, <clears throat> I suggest you might want to try to get in the habit of doing this, using this book every single day. And don't ever get to the point where you think you have it memorized. Don't do that. We are told when we pray, even if we've been doing it for, I mean, I, I pray next to some guys on Shabbat. They can do the whole prayer service just by themselves. Just do it. And, and they don't need a book. But we're told, don't do it that way. 